Bradley, how could you do this? I thought you told me all of your past. I don't think our marriage can survive this. You've been living a lie. Look, baby, I thought this was over. I mean, I was young and foolish. Will lied to me, even when I went to- You what? You went where? You were alone with Will? What? Where did you go? To her house? Um, look, nothing happened. I just went over to ask her some questions. We were never in a relationship. I thought it was over. I, I love you. I have three great kids with you. I thought I knew you. We were supposed to be growing together in our marriage in the Lord. And why, why did you ask your brother to post bail for you and not me? I'm your wife. I didn't want to put you through this, Rita. I mean, you are my life and the kids too. I never put anybody or anything before you. God is the head of my life, then you and the kids. Stop it, Bradley, just stop. I don't know you anymore. Our marriage may be over. Do you know how embarrassing this is for me? For the kids? The church? I had to find out about this from the police. Bradley, how could you do this? How? I know, Rita. I know it's bad. I tried to help Will with her project, but it all turned out for the worse. She never gave me all the details. I was tricked, and now I have to go through proving my innocence. You were guilty. You helped her give medicine with drug money and had a hit and run. What a life. I know, but that was my earlier life. I've changed. I accept Jesus as my savior, and I never look back. Rita, you gotta believe me. I may have to take the kids to my mom's house for a while. I have too much to think about. I don't know if our lives will ever be the same again. Rita. We can make it through this. We can get through this. We may not. We may not get through this. Right now I'm looking at divorcing you. The kids and I are going to my mother's. Goodbye, Bradley. She left me. <laughs>